trinket. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by uh, the brightest one in the bunch. That's not an expression. Gary Butterfield. Thank you. I'm the brightest banana in the bunch. The brightest banana in the bunch. Mm-hmm. Ripe. Eat uh, fresh. Uh, we're <laughs> I, uh, today. Yeah. I, I promise this is related to your, what you said. Um, I was joking with the guys in uh, my unnamed project. Uh-huh. That they don't like to talk about on the show anymore. And the, uh, the level. we're talking about Jared Vogel. If you uh, put Jared Vogel into Giphy, you get a lot of results, including one of him walking with the caption that says the clues were there all along. And it captured my imagination was real he, hard. Was morning. he walking by a child? Nope. It's just him walking and it's just the clues were there all along. And it's a GIF that was popular enough to make it onto Giphy. It's like the third result if you put Jared Vogel into Giphy. Okay. <laughs> we, we knew and we did nothing yeah the clues were all there mr snowman yeah, mr policeman yeah you could have you could have stopped him mr subway mr sandwich man tally me bananas daylight come gary why do we keep circling back to bananas they're not this isn't the <laughs> banana item <laughs> it's the right color uh kind of gary it's racist to assume there's a the right color for bananas chewing on that for a second i don't think there is <laughs> the, uh, we're we're on kind of good trinket fortnight it is so it's uh, it's the signs yeah. were all there is this giphy okay he's walking yeah, the by signs a, all there he's walking by a picket fence i we, is it we just that he looks like fences. kind of like a dork I, I i don't know what it is isn't it amazing though like I, I i spent a lot of time this morning when i woke up in bed like chewing on that i don't is the idea is like he's going door to door to like announce that he's a sex predator? I don't know. I don't know, Gary. You've uh, you've introduced a powerful uncertainty in my, into my life, and that's beautiful. Yeah, it reminded me of my one of my favorite edla- onion headlines, uh-huh. where you know it's a uh, what is it? Quiznos says our subs cure pedophilia. Ooh, that's a good um, one. That's a good one. Uh, uh, I was like the um, the subway nine eleven ad. Yeah, that, that's also very good. Uh, all those coming. images mm. can't talk about. No comment. Um, vibrant bulbs, real good. Can't say anything about it, Gary. Don't ask. No, me. don't. Shan't. Will not. Uh, this. I think this is a really interesting. The legal trinket. department has said we're not allowed to say anything about it. I know. I understand that, but I also <laughs> think this is a really interesting trinket. And I've been playing Isaac lately, <laughs> so I have thoughts about it. I got less time <laughs> for your little bit about your job. It's yeah, yeah. I got less. Uh, I mean, you, do you want to talk about it? No, man, you, I can't. The bit about your job is you telling me you can't. So I can't. I feel like I've given you exactly the right amount of time. <laughs> yeah. For it, I can't talk about which it. Which is Gary. trying to help you move on from it, but it's being resisted for some reason. <laughs> Gary, well, Gary, it's just I can't talk about it. No, I understand. So uh, we should probably move on to talking talk about, about the trinket. No, tell me more about how you can't talk about it. I I can't. I'm just I'm you know. Uh, it'll be addressed. Not quite clear. I. So this is vibrant. Bulb. I want to talk about it, but I can't. Yeah, no, I understand that. We'll talk about it off air. Will that cure your blue balls? I don't really want to talk to you off air, Gary. <laughs> mean. We already had a maybe, long conversation. Maybe too mean. Maybe too mean. <laughs> Gary, I would love to talk to you about this. Maybe off slightly air. too mean. Can't maybe slightly like, too mean. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm being nice this week. Well, that, that wasn't nice, but uh, you, there's still time. Um, This is really good, and I think it's really interesting. Uh. So this is a trinket. Uh, it's a it's a little plate bulb. What's it called? Vibrant bulb. And if you uh, if you have an active item with full charges, you get like basically the equivalent of like a better version of Super Meat Boy. Yeah, kind of. Uh, you get a, a stat up, and not a and a pretty decent stat up to all stats. Yeah, you get an all stat up. And what I think this does that's really interesting is it allows you to trade a shitty active for a good passive. Uh yeah. So basically, you like won't use whatever your crappy active item is uh and you'll just run around with this good stat up all the time yeah it's it's a little bit boring because it makes you know it's it's not using something Mm -hmm. that gives you the benefit but there are so many uh active items that i just don't really care to use yeah i mean this makes how to jump good makes how to jump really good um i like playing kind of chicken with this with uh guppy's head Mm mm-hmm where I use it at the very end of the room. Yeah. Like before the enemies die. So then it recharges. I still get the flies, but I also get the stat up. Yeah. You know? Uh, and it's just like, oh, I've got lemon, lemon mishap. 
great. You know, I mean, it's in the end game. That's not really that useful to me. I'll, I'll take the powerful stat up instead. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. Yeah. And plays in an interesting space that you don't see other, like there's one other trinket that does this. I was going to say, it's the second best bold trinket in the game. I think it's better. Interesting. I disagree. Uh, because if you do the other, well, I mean, we'll talk about it when we do the other one. I'll explain why I think the other one's, or this is better. Gary, I love talking to you. I enjoy having conversations with you. I'm sorry that I made it. I, I said Even that. off air? Yes, even off air. I, we have many Even if I wanted to run some lyrics by you? What? Yeah. Even if I wanted to run some lyrics by Gary, you? Gary, I would love to hear, hear your lyrics, especially since I have notes. Uh, <laughs> Gary, I have some constructive criticism about your music. I just had a, a, a nightmare thought, which is Will Hughes in a creative writing class. And it, and it just <laughs> made my stomach cramp up. Okay. So I, I, I think you've successfully swung the pendulum back to a little too mean to Will. You don't think you would be uh, overtly harsh with your feedback? Me, I mean, you would with me. That's what I'm thinking. As, about. Oh, I, I mean, Not Gary, the writing. honest answer is someone who has given you feedback on your creative work is no. <laughs> I would be nice. <laughs> I was thinking specifically of workshopping, not your writing. Yeah. I like your writing. I was just thinking about you being like sending a bunch of college sophomores home in tears. Gary, I'm a like nice person on, when I'm not on this show. <laughs> no, I know. I, I know. I, I, I apologize. Gary, I accept Bring your apology. Uh, and I'm excited to uh, take the next shot at you, buddy. <laughs> and someday I hope to accept your apology. Yeah, I'd be, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you can have that kind of personal growth, although I'm not holding my breath for it. Yeah, I hope that you can support me so I can get that personal growth. I'm not holding my breath for that either. Yeah. Um, Gary, it sounds like we both have very clear respiration right now. We, we have our work cut out for us for the rest of the day. <laughs> we have, well, you got to go scan five episodes to record therapy. after this. Yeah. The, uh, it'd be uh, the stretch goal to send you and I to group therapy. Yeah. We uh, joked about it before. Idea. It would be good. It'd be very funny. We'd make the therapist laugh by the end, even if he was just exasperated. <laughs> and we'd try really hard the entire time. Yeah. So Yeah, you 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 would bring the same energy to uh that therapist that I've seen you bring to every waitress you've ever interacted yep. with. And then we that would be a good time to have Cole on as guest because Cole does the same thing. Yeah. And it would just be excruciating. We could get a lot of therapists to kill themselves. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, the COVID, COVID's been really hard on everybody. Uh, BetterHelp is uh, hiring more therapists everywhere, but not where we've been. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we keep creating big blackout zones. <laughs> uh, if people like this show. C coupon I, code. I like this keeping up the pace. Kill your therapist. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, like famous, record, famous record. Kill your therapist. Uh, Patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV uh, gives Dennis some money. Yeah. Feed Dennis. Yeah. He's got a family. Does he? Uh, yes. Very much so. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was a, a funny app. <laughs> um, you can also leave us ratings or reviews on Apple Podcast, uh, like you better, uh, before we record the next two episodes. Yeah. Uh, two. Gary, we got five after this, bud. Uh, yeah. uh, like this one left on Podcast Addict by Velvet Undergrad, which is a great name. <laughs> that is That is really good. I love listening to these two very funny men be extremely hard on themselves and each other. Five stars. That was a five-star <laughs> review. Accurate. Accurate. No notes. Yep. Good night. Good night.